Ah, back at the ranch. Our deerskin clothing has been repaired at last, with bearskin almost ready. At this point, it's time to hunt for a few more highs to keep curing in PV while we explore the world beyond PV. Hello, Legion. This is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more of the Long Dark in our Against All Odds series, where it is the dawn of a new day. I have mostly full condition. The weather sounds delightful, and generally is, from what I can tell. So let's do just that. Let, we've spotted a few prop carcasses out and about. They're not super close, but we know kind of where they are. And I kind of have the ability to step out and go grab those hides and not worry too much about how long it's going to take me because I know exactly where they are. And I know that my bearskin items are seriously right around the corner. So... Let me make sure that I have put away everything I can put away. I do have these cattails. I will go ahead and transfer those for now because I've just completely filled up on deer meat. So I'll be okay for the near future. I've got a good number of torches on me. You can argue that I probably don't need like that torch. So I'll drop that one off. And did I also, real quick, <laughs> These are problems that only someone with a 99 pound carrying capacity would have. In other words, the technical backpack, well-fed bonus, and the moose hide satchel. But I was double checking there to make sure that I had in fact broken down the other storm lantern that I found. Because these are the things that you have to worry about. Oh, hang on. Water is going to be an issue. Let's fix that before we go anywhere. I'm just going to transfer all of this into my inventory for a moment. Drop any of this gear. Yeah, you can. Because we're not going to carry around 20 extra pounds. Good lord. That's a lot of water. That's a lot of water. There we go. That's better. Off we go. So there's one that I'm thinking of that I can pretty much move straight to. And I just need to be mindful of the fact that it's been long enough since I killed some of the predators in this area that respawn might happen. I don't know for sure how quickly this bear will respawn. I'm inclined to think that the bear will take considerably longer given how much food I still have. They have to consider that, right, when thinking about respawn rates. Because if the bear respawns too quickly, you can just keep building up copious amounts of food and especially if you have cabin fever turned off, like I do, because I tend to be pretty mobile as a player, and still am. I'm hunkering down in the farmhouse right now just because we're making stuff before we go mobile again. If you tend to be pretty mobile, you know, it's not an issue. But if you have cabin fever turned off, regardless, then you could just stay in one spot for a long time. Which is not exactly the way the game is meant to be played, to put it mildly. God, it's so nice to see how slowly that temperature gauge is dropping. Okay, so I don't remember exactly where the deer in question is. I think it's actually pretty close to Thompson's Crossing, so this is a bit of a hike that I'm going on. But it's okay, because it's going to be about another 24 hours and change before that bear hide is cured. <laughs> Ominous wolf noises. Thank you for that. Now, I see a demon right there. If I really wanted easy pickings, I could just hunt this particular specimen as we pass. We can still go for the other hides. But if this is indeed what I said I was going to do, let's go for it. Let's try a long shot. Oh, they moved. Ah, oh, man, I was just about to try that, too. All right, let's wait for a second and see if we can get it from this distance. Should stop in a second. There we go. Oh, did you see that? Right at the moment the arrow was about to land. That probably would have been a kill. Oh, that's rude. That's incredibly rude and unnecessary game. Why would you do that? 
Why would you do that to me in front of all these people? That's just embarrassing. It's just embarrassing. Listen, I need you not to embarrass me like that again, okay? So I'm going to take a shot. Now don't move. Thank you. Did just break an arrow there. Okay, so this is interesting. I'm gonna get a little cold here while I grab this hide. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and head straight back. This is so cold. I don't want to lose too much condition, so I'm not gonna take time. Well, hang on. How long would it take to grab like one? Whoa, no, 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 no. We're not gonna grab meat. And the reason we're not gonna grab meat is those wolves. Very close to the farmstead would definitively smell it. Without question, they would smell it. So we're not going to worry about that. The meat will be there. And I might be able to go back for it in a bit, but this is one deer hide that I can bring back to the ranch slash farmstead. And just kind of have stashed because we still have a number of guts stashed here. There we go. Just thinking to myself, this is the definitive test right here. This is how we know for sure that hides aren't smelly. Something I've talked about a few times. I know that they're not, but it's something that I used to kind of be on the fence about. Including, what was it, last episode or two episodes ago? Where I actually, like, backpedaled a little bit because I was freaking out thinking that a wolf was honing in on my hide right before I realized that I was actually still carrying a tiny chunk of meat. <laughs> but yeah, that's one of the troubles with deer hide in this game. Or not with deer hide at all, but with the way that the scent that you give off as a player is represented in game. Because even though you can get a certain amount of scent built up, like, if I step out here and pick up two pieces of meat, I will definitely get... I'm not sure I can carry much Fine, more. three pieces. There we go. I'll get that. And I'm probably pulling a wolf this way, so let me drop those on the ground so as not to attract attention. They're probably still coming this way, to be honest. Which is ironic that that's what does it. Like, all that meat can sit there... And it doesn't attract any attention, but the second you pick up enough of it to give off a scent, it's a little bit gamey, right? No pun intended. But anyway, yeah. Like, you can see that bar there. But sometimes you can be giving off a scent and there's no bar showing, and this was the case with that meat that I mentioned. And that's because you have that ordinal indicator, one, two, or three, solid numbers. But you can't really tell how close you are to one, two, or three. It's just a one, a two, or a three. And sometimes you can actually have fractions of one. You're either above or below a certain number. Below one, below two, below three. Above one, above two. Above three, I suppose. You're giving off a certain amount of scent. And the game only represents it in that ordinal one, two, or three way. So you're missing a certain amount of detail on how much of a stink you're giving off, or indeed, whether you're giving off a stink at all. Sometimes you can be giving off a bit of a stink, but the game will tell you that you're not. Which is weird. Let's sleep for a few hours, because I genuinely want to see, if I sleep for two hours, what's the effect on that bear hide. It was 90% at the start of the day. And it was noon when I started sleeping. So I might be able to extrapolate something a little bit here. Oh yes. Oh yes. I just used the word extrapolate 
in a sentence without blinking. I don't know why I did it either. All right, so 1%. Hmm. So let's assume that like 0.4% is what was just, is the amount of curing that just happened. So then that was in two hours of sleeping. So five of those is 2%. And we still need about eight and change. So 20 of those. Okay, so this, this is actually still about 40 hours off, roughly speaking. That's a very rough estimate. So we still actually have less than two days for sure, but more than one day. I thought it was within about a day, but maybe the bear hide takes longer to cure than I gave it credit for. So, I guess it's time to go looking for another hide, or to grab some of the guts. Well, I guess that depends. How many guts do I still have here? That's a lot of cured guts. How many is that? Hmm? Six? I could do with a few more. Six is not that many. I'm going to need more to make the bear skin. So yeah, it's going to be a little bit risky because it involves aggravating those wolves nearby. Ooh, and because it's getting colder and snowier. Oh boy. Yeah, this is a great time to go do this. Actually, it, <laughs> I joke, but this could actually be the perfect time to do this. The reason is, if a blizzard's about to start, yes, I will be cold. Yes, I will lose condition. Yes, it'll be kind of annoying. However, however, I gain the ability to bring smelly stuff back without worrying too much about said wolves, which is a plus, which is a plus. So I might just go ahead and grab both of those guts. And we'll do this as many times as is necessary. Like I said, I know where an additional prop carcass is, and it's relatively close. Also need to break down that arrow and make a new one. I think I still have some arrow shafts. I might not. I think I have arrow shafts, but I didn't have arrow heads, and now obviously I do. I have one waiting to be reclaimed from that broken arrow. That is the beauty, really, of the... I forget the technical term for arrow making. Dang. I know what I think it is, but I don't want... I'm not going to blurt that out. <laughs> so... I want to I say fletching is what I think it is. Anyway, we're not going to do meat right now. We're going to do guts. But one of the beauties of the way it's designed in the long dark is that, and I suppose this is fairly realistic, you know, when you break an arrow, you still have the metal arrow tip. At least you still have that, you know? All right, I need to be careful here because I'm giving off a scent. The blizzard actually has not started yet, which means the safety I was bragging about being able to enjoy a moment ago is, uh, suffice to say, moot. I'm going to conserve my sprint here. And also be mindful that there could be a wolf coming from this direction. It's rare, but it's possible. This is the hill that I was talking about. What was it, last episode of the one before that? Where I was like, there could be a wolf in this direction. That's the hill that I was pointing to, just from the other side. Thankfully, the wind is blowing in a direction where it's not carrying the scent, you know, toward those furry woodland friends. But that doesn't mean that I'm thrilled about the situation. I've got a giant hill between me and the farmstead. I don't know if the wolves are already getting close, if they already smell it. There could be a wolf right over the edge of this 
crest right here. And I wouldn't know it. Okay, nice. No predators incoming. Which makes sense. It's only one level of stink. But the scary thing about this situation, for those of you newer to the game, as I've mentioned a few times, but again, for those of you who are very new to the long dark, the scary thing about when you're getting stalked because you are stinky is that the wolves can start to sneak up on you. They will bark when they get close, but they'll start to approach you because they can smell you. So they'll be stalking you silently, and they'll be closer than you think they are. And it can really be startling. Okay. I have some books to read, and I might as well read them. I might as well read them. They've been sitting here for a bit. So let's, uh, let's knock this out, shall we? Just to make sure. Yeah, everything's good. And that right there just put me all the way up to very close to halfway, if not a, lo if not a little bit over halfway, to Revolver level 5. Not bad at all. If I dare say so myself. Alright, so I've got some maple saplings securing. This one is already cured. Do I have any birch saplings by chance? I can't recall if I had any... It doesn't seem that I do. I've probably made them into arrow shafts already, which reminds me that is one more thing I need to do before I go to sleep. Leather sounds great, doesn't it? does not appear that I have additional arrow shafts, unless I put them down somewhere. But I doubt that I would have done something like that. That would have been a strange thing for me to do. I will not put an absent-minded decision, like, completely off the table. It's possible that I made that mistake, but I kind of doubt it. Oh, hang on. Well, I have enough water. Yeah, I've got enough water. Put you out. Drink that. And sleep for just over six hours. Nice. Blizzard's going away. Pleasant Valley, have you noticed, by the way, that for the last several days at least, I know I'm going to say it out loud, and there's already people saying, Hadrian, don't. Like, wh why are you going to say this? Stop it. Don't say it. You know what will happen if you say it. I'm going to say it anyway. I'm going to say it anyway. Because chaos. But have you noticed that Pleasant Valley has been relatively tranquil? For several days? Maybe it's just because I'm, you know, feeling confident and I have gear that's in good condition. But I just kind of feel like it's been pretty, uh, pretty chill. All right, 96% cured. It's been pretty chill. All right, I have one more book I need to read, but I don't have anything with which to read it. Hmm, 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 hmm. Oh yeah, I need to get some more water, don't I? Also, have I read that book? I believe I have, but let me just make absolutely sure. I think it, I think that's a book that I brought. Yeah, I brought this from elsewhere. <laughs> Man, this pack is getting kind of heavy. Books in the fridge. just a good storage container, okay? I don't know what to tell you. Okay, well, I guess I'll drink some water here, but there's not a lot for me to do at the moment. Let me see. 
I might be able to do some sharpening to pass the time. Yeah, that'll work. My sharpening skill is at 100, so there's no way that I can improve my skill any further by doing this. But I will improve the condition of my blades. Which I suppose is an important step in preparing for black rock. All right, there's that. Let's just put you down right there. Uh, hello? Oh, it didn't place. That's so strange. I don't know why it didn't place. All right, let's sleep for an hour. I'm just really waiting for the beginning of the day because as soon as the sun is like over the horizon halfway, I can read that other book. Now it's past time for an hour. All I can think about is food. Last time for one more hour. There we go. Pick up. And so the door is going to be this way. Leave farmhouse. Perfect. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. You can, in fact, drop lots of this gear. But for now... By the way, I do remember that I have one piece of meat here that has not been cooked. It's in the back of the stack, so to speak. But for those of you nervous that I might forget that there's an, un an uncooked piece of meat, I have not forgotten, don't worry. Okay, let's step back inside. Now I think I still have the water on me that I need. Yes, I do. And now I can just read. Ha! <laughs> I'll actually get level two gunsmithing for this. How about that? So what does that do for me once I actually have the ability to do gunsmithing stuff? Crafted ammunition condition is 40%. 60% chance of ammunition component harvesting. Nice. That's pretty cool. Alright, well, we can put that book away. And we don't have to worry about it anymore. Do you remember earlier in the series when there was so much reading to be done and there was no way to secure the time to do it? And now I'm just relaxing with enough meat to eat for days. 99% <laughs> cured on the black bear hide. That is called getting trolled by the game. So let's go sleep for like, let's say an hour. Just an hour, that's all I need. And I wanna make sure I picked up my bedroll as well, because that would be obnoxious. We can all agree. I did pick it up. 99% cured. Rude. So, pastime. <laughs> the lighting changed. And so I wasn't sure if it was the lighting changing. But I, I knew the lighting had changed, but it made it difficult to tell whether the color of the hide had changed. Okay, we're still... All right, this has got to do it. Come on. Come on. Really? Really? There it is. Wait a minute. Hold on. Did I just see something about a rabbit pelt? Yeah. 
Why does it, why does it say that? One fresh rabbit pelt. I'm confused. All right, let's go get started on this thing. It's gonna take, unfortunately, a while to make this. And then we can make some executive decisions about what we're gonna keep and not. I guess I'll go ahead and fill up. I'm only going to be able to get started here. I'm not going <laughs> I am just not going to be able to make much progress on this at all, which makes me sad. Yeah, that uncooked piece is right there. I'm not sure I can carry much. Rancid bear meat. Isn't that just a lovely thought? Whether you need to survive or not. Okay, I can, in fact, where are those arrow shafts? Am I just blind? Am I just blind? Did I scroll right past them when I was looking for them previously? I guess I did. Yeah, they're right there. They're right there. I've got nine in my inventory. Wow, dude. Okay. Well, I do need to make that arrow. It'll take 45 minutes. Let's go ahead and do that. And now the bearskin coat will take 60 hours. Six, zero. Well, three, nine, if I use the improvised knife. 39. All right, let's say one and a half hours just to get it started and then see if we can maybe squeeze in one more. We might be able to, although I tend to doubt it. Yep, yep. All right, so we put in a bit of time there, but now it requires light to craft. So the work has begun. And it's just a matter of uh, getting up first thing in the morning, getting as much done as we can closely managing how much food and drink I'm carrying around. I think I'm actually good right now. Yeah, I might as well just grab the water out of the fridge. This pack is getting kind of heavy. It will encumber me, but at the same time, I'm not going to be moving around. So it's effect should not be felt. Although I do remember wondering out loud about this earlier in the series, so could be wrong. We'll see. All right, I need to pass time for probably I'd say three hours and then I can sleep until dawn. Perfect. So probably I'll go ahead and say eight hours. I'm not going to get eight. But it looks like slightly more than seven, maybe seven and a half. And the sun will be up. There it is. There's the sun. We use these windows as a reference point as I walk backwards. Oh, let's not go that far. Come on now. Really? There we go. Downstairs. First things first, let's get some meat. God, there's still so much. Most of these steaks have not been touched. This is cooked bear meat. Still waiting to be enjoyed. It's insane. That's one bear kill. And now we are finally making use of its lovely hide. I'll get as much done as I can. And I'm kind of glad this is happening at the end of an episode as opposed to at the beginning. <laughs> so 
Stay with me as long as you would like. You know what the next few minutes of gameplay are going to look like. But I'll keep you company, it's fine. Let's see. Alright, where's the workbench? Come on, feeling my way around in the dark. Here we go. Alright, so in this case, I'm going to go ahead and say... Hang on, let me make sure. Yeah, I did. Just triple checking. Let's say eight hours. Oh, interesting. I tried to use the mouse wheel and that backfired horrendously. Let's say eight. Begin crafting. And let's see what impact that has on thirst and on hunger. Okay. That is the limit. That is the limit. So we can only go for eight hours at a time before we start losing condition due to thirst. But now we know. So let's now go ahead and say, I'll say four hours. So we get a solid 12 hours in. And hopefully the game will allow it. It's looking like, based on where these are positioned, yep, it's going to give it to me. Perfect. Perfect. Now I cannot see. Love it. Love everything about it. This is great. I, I hate that, like, I got here with so much oil in this lantern, and now it's just almost entirely gone. It makes me sad. Just making sure I've picked everything up in here. There's probably something hiding somewhere, I'm not going to lie. But right now, my one priority is this bear skin. Oh, wait. I think where I'd rather be is out here. And I'm not going to worry about going upstairs to the bed because it's really kind of pointless. My God, it just blows my mind. That's one stake and you saw how much it refueled me. It's perfect. So if we pass time for, let's say, let's do it again. Let's say three hours. Because I actually woke up when I woke up from my seven hours of sleep last time I did this. The sun was up farther than I thought it would be. So we might be able to give ourselves more time here. Maybe. All right, hours of sleep. Let's say, once again... We'll say eight. Nice. Time that almost perfectly. The day is at the very, very beginning. We're going to stand up. We're going to turn around. And we're definitely going to get some good time in now. I'm going to go straight down to the basement just to save a little bit of time. Ha! <laughs> Pitch black. Love it. All right, let's just go ahead and light this. There we go. I will save my lantern oil. And save most of that torch. Perfect timing. Bearskin coat. Oh, wait, 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 wait. First things first. There's that thirst. 
Let's go ahead and drink. I do need to bear in mind that is, I'm, I'm rapidly consuming my water. I need to be careful with that, but. Let's go ahead and say five hours this time. Because if I do that, then after one more day of this, yep, this coat will be done. So let's just go ahead and knock it out. We're at 35 minutes in the episode, but I just have to do what I've just done one more time. We'll use the fire striker, why not? One more time. And I'm good to go. And we'll have bear skin. And we'll make all the decisions with regard to, like, what exactly I'm going to wear in the next episode. We'll do that at the beginning, because that'll be fun. But I want to get this done at the end of this one. Logistically, from a series perspective, that makes the most sense. Okay. Let's put that away. And let's get it done. Uh, hello? Did you do it again? You did it again. What's your deal? All right, past time for three hours. There's an Aurora. By the way, we have full condition again, if you hadn't noticed that. That's a nice step in the right direction. Alright, there's some water. And we are once again at the very beginning of the day. Let's pick up the bedroll. Let's chow down on this bear meat. And let's go finish our bear skin. I'm going to drop the meat in the snow. Oh, just kidding. I don't have any left. Perfect. Still a little bit encumbered from carrying all the extra water, but that's not going to be the case for much longer because I actually don't have that much. The main thing that's encumbering me right now... No, I'm... I'm going to use a torch. And we will once again use a match. Yeah, the other thing that's encumbering me is the bearskin itself. And here we go. Let's get this done, shall we? I'm going to top off my thirst just to be <laughs> just to be a bit of a min-maxer about it. And let's now select the bearskin coat. Craft for eight hours. Mind you, if you were playing this on Stalker, or if you were playing it on Interloper, Cabin Fever would very much be a factor in what I'm doing right now. I have Cabin Fever turned off. So just bear that in mind if you're watching and learning, because this particular custom code is easier than Loper in some ways, harder than Loper in others, and generally balanced around my playstyle with some things kind of in mind that I wanted to improve on specifically. And there we have it. A new bearskin coat. If it's good enough for the bear, it's good enough for you. Heavy, bulky, but very warm and one of the toughest things around. Any of this gear. <laughs> you may not run from much, but you may not need to either. wonder how much that'll help with the Timberwolves. I'm going to guess not much because they're Timberwolves. 
But we are at the 40 minute mark just now for this episode. I'm going to stop this one here. In the next one, we're going to BlackRock. It's happening. It's finally happening. We're leaving at the beginning of the next episode and we are going down the road towards BlackRock, towards, well, a transition zone and then into BlackRock. And I haven't really been in that area in a very, 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 very long time. So I'm excited. You should be too. Hope to see you tomorrow. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this one, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. If it's not your first time or even your second, look for the join button to access unique emotes, badges, and other perks. New episodes are coming out every day but Wednesday at 1 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time. And comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you next time.